Hello, this is Ashley from Crafting with Ashley, and welcome to this video. This is the card making today. I just love it. I love the contrast between the red and the black and the white. It's just so cute, I think. So let me show you what I did. Stamp set I'm going to use is this one called Biggest Wish, and I absolutely love this set. Um, this might be, I'm, I'm filming this before we know what's retiring, so this might be retiring, and if it is, make sure you get it before it goes. It is a great, I mean, even if it isn't retiring, it is a great and really useful set, really something useful to have in your stash. So we're stamping here in Poppy Parading, and let's just ink up our sentiment nicely. that down okay let's do it one more time make sure it's back in the corner perfect so close up the pad Put that aside for now. Let's just clean this mess up quickly so it doesn't get everywhere and contaminate the rest of our project. And I just love being able to take the um, the plates off like this to clean it. it makes life so much easier. You can see my hands are lovely and inky. I've been busy filming all morning. So let's put that away and I just put these on the case till I put them away. Okay so let's start to build our card quickly and we have here a piece of the Flowering Fields Design Series paper and all the measurements are on my website so if you go, go onto my website you'll find the link in the description box below. And you'll find all the measurements there for this card. All done for you. And there will also be links to the supply list, etc. So you can get this product for yourself. So let's put this down here. Just like that. Okay, that's our card base, a thick basic white. That's a standard A6 card base. That's an A4 sheet cut in half and then fold in half. And then I've got a layer of basic black and then our designer series paper. So, bring back our sentiment and our trimmer. We're going to cut this out. Using our trimmer. And... I'm just doing it by eye. I'm not being frightfully careful. I'm being careful, but I'm not measuring. That will do. And then I am going to stick this down on a piece here of basic black again. And just mat it like that and then I'm going to use my trimmer just to cut off the ends just like that okay and then we're going to just pop this up on some dimensionals so I save usually my edges for this so it makes it so much easier than having to peel off tons of backings okay well I'll just use 
peek this bit up as well. Okay, so I'm just going to move that onto there, get rid of those, and then take the backings off. I love sometimes the simplest of cards can be the most effective. Sometimes we try and add so many layers and add so much fancy stuff that we lose sight of what we're really doing. Sometimes the old adage less is more is really is really is true. So let's put this down on our card base like that. And then finishing touches I've got these matte classic dots and I'm going to use some of these here. Use these ones actually. Mm. You can see which of my favourite colours, black and white, have been used. Mm. I'm not really, I don't mind the grey, vanilla, I have to say, I'm not a cream girl. I prefer white to cream. And then, last finishing touch is we're going to tie a little bow with our ribbon. And this is the black and white gingham ribbon. So let's see what we can achieve here. I don't want it to be too big. Just want a smallish bow. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, and some glue dots. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm just going to put this just like that on top of the hello. And there you go. There are two cards. So I hope you liked them. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube now. And please consider subscribing to my videos. It makes a big difference. As I said, if there's any information you want about the project, it's all on the blog post on my website. And the links to that and all my social media links, including the link to my Facebook group, are in the description box below. So until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.